Hi Aries, welcome back. We're going to see what is going on in your energy, what you should be aware of, and what is going on. If you're new here, if you're a cross watcher, my name is Ninja. I will be your reader. Remember that these are general readings. They may or may not resonate with you. Do take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for somebody else. Spirit, what is going on here in Aries' energy? Page of Cups. First card out. Okay, so. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands with the Page of Cups. You might be trying to control your your emotions here your emotional side okay when it comes to your emotions it's uh something that you're having to fight with you're feeling conflicted with you're taking charge of okay you're trying to sit in your power you're trying to boss up you're trying to get get a hold of things so it seems like you need to get a hold of your emotional side before you can move forward okay i do feel like you're like you're sitting back and you're like looking at your options you know and you're feeling like you know you need to take you need to take a step of being more logical okay uh using your head more and not your emotional side there might be something going on that's making you feel like you need to release something that has been stuck in your head for a long time okay like you you feel like you need to let go of something that you know been holding you back something that has been mentally holding you back and you're going to do it too okay you're definitely going to do this don't worry this is going to happen for you okay something has been holding you back something that you know maybe this could be somebody or someone has been holding you back by keeping you stuck in your head about a situation or keeping you from being able to see clearly about a situation okay now this might be a it's very well could end up being somebody who has water in their truck that has been doing this to you okay Things are going to be righted, okay? Things are definitely going to be righted here for you. Somebody around you is going to be in trouble with the law here. And it's, some, it's something that they did that wasn't fair. It might have been something that they did where they thought they were getting away with it, okay? there. This is a water sign, possibly a cancer. So you have somebody that this person was holding you back. You might feel a certain kind of um, emotional attachment to this person. You might have some kind of sympathy toward this person, you know, where you feel maybe even responsible for this person, okay? For whatever reason that is, Spirit is saying don't do that, okay? Keep, keep working toward what you got going on, okay? Uh, I do feel that you have been in, put in a situation where you had to draw the line with somebody. You know, you've had to, and it's really not having to, it's, it was more like you were forced to, you were forced to set a line, like, you know what, if they cross this line again, I'm, I'm done with them, you know, that kind of energy, you know, and you were forced to do it, you had to do it, you know, because this person, it looks like every time you turned around, this person would come around, be insulting, hurtful definitely hurtful uh you know maybe even slandered you right and then they would stand back and wait to see your reaction you know this person's about to receive some kind of recipro like they're they're about to receive their karma okay i feel like this person's about to get in trouble with the law okay let's dig deeper i want to find out what did this person do you know <laughs> i mean i i see that they you know they were playing games with you here okay i do see that but what did they do to get in trouble with the law definitely something to do with the business something that they thought they were oh stealing from a business stealing from their boss that's what i'm hearing
Might have even stolen from family members here, okay? This boss could be a family member to this person. They were actually stealing from that person. We have the lovers in reverse. Okay, so this person was causing a lot of conflict in a family group. Okay, whoever this person is. This is somebody that they were causing problems within a family, within a business. This could be like a uh, a family business possibly or, or it could be both, right? Like this person was causing problems within a family and in a business, okay? Like maybe they were doing, they were just getting away with things left and right, right? Like causing problems at home and then going to work and causing problems at work because this person felt like this boss was was too much right like they, they felt like this boss was too strict or they felt like this father figure was too strict okay too strict setting too many boundaries okay not giving them enough options not giving them enough space that's what i'm hearing this person didn't want to change okay they thought that they should be able to get away with this they felt like they should be able to get away with, you know, taking whatever they wanted here. This person was actually making money doing this. They were rising up financially doing this. But this is all through, through lies and deceit that they were getting this money from. They were definitely getting this money from a father figure. Okay, so maybe a father figure was uh, giving them money to do something here too. So this person has a karmic father who is just as bad as they are. Yeah, so this, okay, so this person has a father figure who is just as bad as they are, okay? Um, it does look like this person is a karmic all right this person was brought into your life to teach you a lesson and that was what what was the lesson here well for sure aries the lesson here is not to put all your eggs in one basket that's for sure two don't allow somebody else to have control over you right don't allow somebody else to specifically have control over your thinking okay So emotionally, you're still attached to this person. This person was attracted to you because you're the empress. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so this person was attracted to you because you're the empress. So you are financially stable. You make the right decisions. You've learned all your lessons. You take action when it's red, when it's time to take action. And yet this person still was able to, to get into your head. They were able to, yeah, manipulate themselves and get into your head. They were still able to do this. That just tells you how manipulative this person is. But hey, don't feel bad. Because I've heard of very, you know, I've heard of people who have PhDs, you know, getting swindled out of their money. And, and I'm not talking about a little money. I'm talking about thousands, you know, like $500,000, right? So when somebody comes towards you with this kind of energy, this kind of bad intentions, I mean, they really give it their all. You know, they really do. And they're an actor. And this person, I'm seeing them do it to even to their own family members, right? Their family members have bad memories of them, of the things that they've done to them. And you have bad memories too with this person. Because this person didn't want things to change. They wanted things to keep going. They liked the opportunities that they were getting, not just from you, Aries, but from their family. This person's got themselves into all kinds of trouble and, and possibly at work 
or, or if they're self-employed, then something that they've done in their business, okay? So it's not just you. No, this is a lot of people. This person has hurt a lot of people and has caused a lot of commotion, a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. They have caused a lot of chaos. So it's not just with you personally. No, it's not just with you that this person has caused chaos because I do see here that this person, you know, they very well caused some kind of chaos with you where to the point where you had no choice. You had to draw that line. The thing is, is you were smart enough to draw that line where I see here that, you know, the, the business that they were involved with, the family that they were involved with, they weren't so lucky as you were. This is why this person's going to be getting themselves into trouble with the law here because I'm seeing justice coming in. Spirit, tell me some more. This person is expecting you not to really know. Like, they're expecting you not to be able to see clearly. Um, they're expecting you to not to listen to your intuition, definitely, okay? I feel like this person is hoping that you will come come in and help them out. That's what I'm hearing, okay? I feel like this person wants you to come in and help them out because they're overwhelmed. They're going to be overwhelmed with this legal proceedings, Okay? They're gonna be they're gonna be feeling overwhelmed with what's coming toward them. They don't want to pay the piper. This person has a plan. This seems to be their plan. Their plan is to come around you and get you to what? To come and help them out. They want you to rush in and come and save them. And after everything that they've done to you, they're, they're, they think they actually think that you're gonna come around and save them okay because like they're expecting you to get in your car and just come over and and ha like come in and, and swoop in and take care of them take care of their problem and this is their master plan their master plan is is that you're reliable okay you're reliable you're the person that makes the right decisions they think that you're going to come in and use your knowledge use your skills that's what i'm hearing they think that you're going to come in use your skills use your knowledge and come in and help them out oh my goodness aries don't help this person there was somebody in my family and this was back when when i was a young teenager somebody that was around me and this person was like 11 years old yeah spirit is saying don't don't do anything um this person was like 11 years old and this person got themselves into trouble for i mean they were doing all kinds of things like breaking into people's houses i mean they were just into all kinds of stuff right well finally they got caught i don't remember what they got caught for they were just really doing a whole lot and instead of letting this person understand that there's, uh, you know, instead of allowing this person to understand that there's consequences to their actions, their parents went and got them out right away. They, they didn't even spend a few hours in juvenile. I, I'm serious, just not even a few hours. They were already out. And that person grew up and that person has had a life of crime and every time they get themselves into trouble their parents are running to them pawning their stuff selling whatever they can to get them out i'm telling you this because this person could be a child of yours okay for one of you this is actually your child who is very manipulative, who is very, very much into getting things their way and being very manipulative, okay? Oops. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this, please and thank you. So if this is your child, whoa, 
if this is your child, this is something you don't want to do. You you need that person to go ahead and face the consequences. You know, allow them to face their consequences. Now, for one of you, this is uh this is somebody that you might have been married to, or you shared a home with. Okay, so like a sibling, somebody that you lived with at some point in your life. If you allow this person, if you allow this person, this person is going to bring a lot of misery into your life. And it's because they feel like you have all the money. You have the stability. They feel like, you know, everything comes easy to you. You might even be single. Okay, this might be for one of you because you're single, because they feel like, you know, you don't have uh, little, little small children to take care of. Okay, so you might be single. Maybe your children are grown already or something like that. This is why this person feels like it's okay. Be cautious because this person is coming in with warlock type of energy. Okay, just so you know, this person is coming in with warlock type of energy. Okay, they are show they they show you a mask. They're not showing their true self, right? This person views you as somebody who's financially stable. Somebody who has money to burn, okay? So they're like, "Okay, I'm just going to keep doing what I want to do. I'm just going to keep doing, you know, I'm just going to keep getting myself into all kinds of trouble." And Aries is going to be there to help me out. That's what I'm seeing. Aries is always going to be there ready to help me out. That's what this person is saying. Because Aries is stable. Aries is loving. That's what I'm hearing. Aries is a lover. Like a, a loving energy. A compassionate energy. Okay. Okay. And if you allow it, this person is going to put so many burdens on your shoulders. And you will end up walking away miserable. The whole family will be miserable. And you will end up having all this stress on your shoulders. And this person is not going to change. You know, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. They're not going to change. They have no intentions of ever changing here. And that's the problem. I feel like this person has already caused problems in the family, okay? So for one of you, this is your family that this person has caused problems in. You know, and you might have had rose-colored glasses on when it came to this person. And that might be why the fool is coming out in reverse, okay? That very well could be why. Because I do see here that somebody here did, you know, have rose colored glasses on when it comes to this person there when we have our own children sometimes we um you know we want or we wish for something for that child right we have hopes that that child will grow up and be a certain kind of person right the thing is is that but by the time the child is conscious and and they can even like I said like the story I told you about the little boy um he started when he was very young you know nine ten years old right and even at that age you know they can already decide what path that they're going to take and it doesn't matter about upbringing it doesn't matter you know how many times you took them to church or how disciplined you were with them, okay? For one of you, this person is a lot like their father, okay? Because I did, I do see a karmic father on here. So this child has adopted their personality traits from a father figure, okay? So their father very well could be the kind of person who has gotten themselves a nice long record, right? You know, a nice stack of charges against them. You know, that kind of thing. So whoever I'm picking up on, Spirit is saying, don't fall into this. 
Because what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself, you know, down the road, you're going to find yourself 60, 70 years old. And you should be able to retire, but you're not going to have the money to be able to retire. You're going to have to keep working, working, working. And this, this person in your life is still going to be asking you to come and bail them out. They're still going to be there with their hand out expecting you to work month after month to support their quick get rich schemes and their criminal activity. Okay. This is a trap you don't want to get into. That person I was telling you about, their father is in their 70s now and he's still having to work because he still has to pay off, you know, lawyers and bills bonds and all kinds of stuff. So I actually know somebody who is actually personally involved in something like this. Okay. It looks like you have found yourself in a similar situation, okay? Now, for another one of you, this may this might not be your personal child. This could just be somebody that's around you, you know, who has always depended on you with the Six of Cups. Um, it makes me feel like, you know, there's a good chance that maybe you grew up with this person, whoever this person is to you. Sometimes we grow attachments with people and we want to prove that, you know, we're going to be there for them through thick and thin. But the thing is, is that there has to be a line there drawn. And I do see here that you have drawn a line. Spirit is saying, keep drawing that line. You're, you, you've drawn the line. It's like you're halfway through that line. Spirit is saying, like, get your hand on there and go ahead and finish that line. Right? You you already started that line. Right? When you, started, when you took off this band-aid that they had over your eyes. Right? Keeping you in the dark. You've already started that line. Spirit is saying, let me help you. Let me stick my hand on your hand. And let's go ahead and draw that line all the way. Because what's going to happen is you're going to be working yourself. Working and working and working and suffering and suffering. For what? This person has already chosen their path that they want. This is the path that they, they want to live. They want to live in the fast lane. They're not going to change okay not anytime soon unless something very drastic happens uh, and one thing that could end up happening is this person's gonna go to prison some people go to prison they get a taste of that and that's it they call the criminal life you know and they're like forget it I don't want nothing to do with it anymore right hopefully that's is what's gonna happen to this person and hopefully it won't be too long you know maybe let them have a year behind bars and they'll learn their lesson and they'll never want to get involved with anything okay but as long as you keep uh you know cleaning up this person's act this person is still going to see you as a personal bank account unfortunately i see here you're going to have to end things okay uh and i feel like what it is that you're going to have to end here is going to end up being this cycle of always rescuing this person okay now for another one of you this has nothing to do with their criminal history this just has something to do with them being more like you know always there with the handout splurging spending their money being reckless with their money okay causing problems in the family like borrowing money from family members and never paying it back right that kind of thing And be very cautious about not listening to your intuition. You know, listening to your own intuition can be a very big challenge. I myself am guilty of that. My intuition will be telling me to do something and I'm like, no, don't worry. It's all going to work out. You know, I do that too. Listening to your own intuition, it is a challenge sometimes because we argue with our own intuition, right? Spirit is saying, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Don't argue. Just let it soak in, okay? Um, and you know what? I have to learn this to myself. I got to learn to listen to my own intuition. So, you're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone. 
All right, Aries, I'm going to let this go, okay? You are doing good, though. Let me go ahead and dig deeper into you now. Now that we got that part taken care of about this person, okay, and what spirit wants you to do, they want you to end that, that helpfulness, okay? But now let's get into your energy and let's see what's going on with you because I see here that you've gone, you have some, um, you have some decisions that need to be made here, okay? I want to go ahead and dig into that. Spirit, tell me more about these decisions. Okay, because it looks like it's more than what I would think. Okay, let me find out. Spirit, tell me more about these decisions. No? Okay, I thought there was more here, guys. I guess not. Nope. Okay, so this is what the decision is. The decision is you. Okay, I thought there was more. I feel, I feel like there's more to this, but I guess not. Anyways, Aries, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Catch me in the next one. I hope I said something that was helpful. I would like to give a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. And, uh, yeah, y'all take care. Bye-bye.